Now, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between pages and posts inside of WordPress. And I'm also going to show you how to create different pages and different posts. And really, the main difference between pages and posts inside of WordPress is WordPress handles pages kind of as a permanent page that's on your site that always stays in the exact same place and is part of your navigation. Like if we go to our website homepage right here, you can see that right here we have our menu bar and it has our home page, okay, and also a sample page. Generally what WordPress does is it automatically puts your pages up here in the menu bar. And then over here on the right hand side, you can see that we have a little post. This was the sample post that WordPress went and created on its own when WordPress gets unsolved. So what I'll do right now is I'll show you how that we can create different pages and posts and then you'll be able to start, you know, adding content onto your new WordPress site. So what you want to do is be logged into your dashboard over here. And then the first thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a post. So if you just click on the posts link right over there on the left hand side, you'll see that there is already a post in here. WordPress went and created this sample post when it installed WordPress for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this right now and we'll start from, from scratch. You can see I can just select that and then right here we can send it to the trash. And that's what I'm going to go do. Okay, now you can see this is our post page and you can see that there's absolutely no posts in here at all right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new post and we can do that just by clicking on the link up here at the top to add new. Okay, and then we're going to get to a page like this and you can see right up at the top here it's telling you to enter your page title here and generally what you want to do is you want to use a page title that corresponds with what the content is. So I'm going to just write here a new mobile website. Okay and right in here this is where you can add your message and you can see it's a visual text editor it's very easy to use. Okay and we can write in our content Okay, now you'll see up at the top here, we can bold things, we can italicize things, we can go ahead and make content into a list, we can make it into a numbered list, we can go ahead and change our alignment, and then over here on the right, you're going to see this little bar, okay, and it says show hide the kitchen sink. If this is your first time in WordPress, it might be hiding some things, but if we click on that, you'll see that a lot more options just came up. We can change the format of certain text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you real quick. I'm going to put a little bit of content on this page, on this post, and then I'm going to show you how we can go ahead and modify it a little bit. Okay, you can see we have just a little bit of text on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do some formatting just so that you can see how things look. So for this title right here, I just want to go ahead. I'm going to change that to a heading one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bold this up right here. Okay, and I'm actually going to underline it too. And then right here, what I want to do is I'm going to just change that into a little list. And all you need to do is you just highlight the text right there, and then you click, and then look at it. We've turned that into a numbered list. Okay, and... Right now, we're not going to worry about any of the stuff down here. This is all stuff that has to do with our plugins that we've installed, and we'll worry about that later. That's not something that we need to worry about right now. But one thing that we can do is we can change the format of the page, and we can decide what type of page that we want it to be. And for now, I'm going to just leave it as basic, because I just want to show you how that this is going to look. So what we do is once we've created our post, it's very important okay, that we go ahead and click on the publish link. And 
Now, this page has been published and we can see that it's been published because right up at the top here, that it tells us that this post has been published. So now I just wanna go ahead and take a look at this to see what it looks like and to show you what it looks like. So we've created this post now and this is what it looks like. You can see that we've made this bold, okay, this has been underlined, this has been made into a list and it's now part of our website. And if we go right to our home page, you'll see that this is now showing up in our navigation over here. You can see that it showed up as a new or as a recent post. And if we click on that, we'll just go right to that page or that post rather. There is a difference between the pages and the post. They're all gonna look basically the same, but they're gonna just act a little bit different. So now what we can do is we can go back and we can add a new post if we want. We can show you how easy that is to do. Just go ahead, click on add new. And then another page just like this page is going to come up. So we'll call this our second post. Okay. And this, page, this post right here will have more content. Okay, and then once again, we just want to go ahead and publish this. And then once the page, the post has been published, when we go ahead, go back to our home page, we're going to see now we have this new recent post right here, and it's been added right here. This is our second post. But you will notice that our, our menu bar hasn't changed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to create pages inside of WordPress and creating page you do it just like you create posts, it's very easy. What you do is right over here, on the left hand side, you can see where it says pages. So we're gonna just go ahead and click on that. And once again, just like before, WordPress has gone ahead and made us a sample page, but we don't need that, so I'm gonna just go ahead and throw that in the trash right now. And after we've thrown that in the trash, when we go back to our home page we're going to see that the sample post has been removed from our menu bar. So we're going to go ahead and create some new pages here. So the first page I like to create whenever I'm doing a website is I'll create an about me page where I just like to, it's a standard page. Most websites are going to have it. A lot of people, when they visit a website for the first time, they like to visit the about me page to learn more about the people who are behind the website. So I'm going to just write a little bit about myself right here and you do it the exact same way that we've done it inside the post pages. Everything looks the same. We have all the same options. We can change our text. We can change the formatting. We can make it look nice. So I'll go ahead and put a little bit in here about me. Okay, so here you have, I, you can see I've just added a little bit about myself on my about me page. You can have as much or as little as you want. I just want to show you the basics of setting up the pages. And once again, we can go ahead and underline things. We can italicize things. We can make things bold. We can do any number of different things. And you'll see, if you look at this, it's a lot like a regular word processing program like you're used to using already on your computer. So it shouldn't be that difficult for you. You can go ahead and paste things in as plain text. You can paste things in right directly from Word if you want to. There's lots of things that you can do. You can center text. You can align text over to the right. You can put things in quotes. Lots of different things that you can do from right in here. And you can also add pictures and video, but I'll show you how to do that in another video. For right now, I just want to show you how to create the pages and posts. And this creating the page, it's just like creating the post. What you want to do is you want to click on that publish link. And as soon as you do that, you'll see that the page has been published and we can now go ahead and view that page. And I'll show you if we go to our home page, right? When we go to our home page, now you can see that this about me page has showed up right here on the menu bar. And if we click on that, you can see that our page is right here where we've told a little bit about ourselves. Okay, so that's how you create pages and posts. It's very easy and you can see all the pages and the posts that you've created 
just by click, clicking on either the pages link, you can see the page right here, or the post link, and you'll see the post that we've created right here. Okay, and you can see it's real easy to do. Creating pages and posts isn't difficult at all. The main thing to remember, the difference between the pages and the post is the pages, okay, pages are generally going to show up in your main menu bar, okay, and your post will generally only show up in your recent posts over here, or if you set up categories, it can set up in the categories section, but the main difference between the pages and posts, the thing to remember is pages are going to show up in your navigation menu and your posts aren't, unless you tell it to, which in another video I can show you how to do that. So that's how you create pages and posts.